Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Oh, fa la 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 somewhere else. Come on, Lillian. Where's your holiday spirit, huh? I've got some mistletoe. I hate Christmas. Really? Who would have guessed it? Everyone's full of good cheer, families are reunited, and there's no good music on the radio. Oh, the weather outside is oh. frightful. What kind of drips would listen to this? So delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Mm. <laughs> you asked for it. It doesn't show signs of snow. and show me the disaster area. Honey, I wouldn't call the Red Cross just yet. <laughs> you go, I care it for his nose. OK, now take him outside. Wait, wait. Sonny out there is going to need these. <laughs> oh, honey. <laughs> No, you're not. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Lillian, we want to thank you for the Winter Wonderland. The boys had so much fun. <laughs> I just want to set the record straight. This was not a good deed. This was a bad deed gone astray. <laughs> I assure you, it won't happen again. <laughs> Mother, you shouldn't be doing bad deeds this close to Christmas. You want to be on your best behavior for Santa. Santa? You two still believe in Santa? Oh, this is rich. <laughs> Why should we believe in him? Hasn't he come every year on Christmas Eve? This is not the enchanted forest. This is the 20th century. There are no wishing wells, no pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, and certainly no Santa Claus. Hi, you guys want to come to the mall to see Santa Claus? <laughs> you see, good guys won, which nothing. Uh, Mother was just saying there is no Santa Claus. Of course there is. That's why all the boys are being so good. Now, what do you have to say for yourself, Lillian? Bah humbug. <laughs> Come on, Sally. Little Donnie's getting impatient. <laughs> Will you keep your pants on? <laughs> Come on, let's all go. Oh, well, Eric, you can't go. Well, why not? You've got to wait for the plumber. Oh, no fair. I want to see Santa Claus. <laughs> Sally, what is he doing? He's a grown man. It's for the kids. Oh, right. Well, I can't wait to see Santa. Oh, sure. Rub it in. <laughs> Fine, you guys go. Have fun. Say hi for me. Oh, and if you get a chance, would you tell Santa that I have plenty of socks, but I could really use a Black & Decker power drill? Cordless? <laughs> I've got them right where I want them. <laughs> what are you babbling about? This is going to be the worst Christmas the Charmings have ever had. How can you say that? They've got holiday spirit coming out the wazoo. 
They turned your blizzard into Frosty the Snowman, and now they're off to see Santa. My point exactly. Lillian, are we in the same conversation? That's not Santa Claus they're going to see. That's some joker in a red suit who's trying to make a few extra bucks to buy presents for his pathetic little family. And why? Because there is no Santa Claus. You really are a downer. You know that. <laughs> Mr. Charming, these pipes are frozen. You don't say. I've never seen that before, except in Vermont. Oh, well, oh, that, that must be where these pipes are from. I have never been so humiliated, degraded, and insulted in all my life. What happened, man? I need some extra money for a ski trip, mm -hmm. so I go to the employment office. And of all the jobs in the world, what do they offer me? An elf? <laughs> Okay, lucky guess. An elf? Well, that's ridiculous. You don't have pointy ears. Exactly. And like, do my toes curl? This really burns my butt. I'll just leave the bill right here. Dad! Hey! I'm just so Santa Claus and sat on his lap. Me too. Uh, he insisted. Boy. Santa wasn't anything like I expected. His nose wasn't at all like a cherry, and his belly didn't shake like a bowl full of jelly. Don't tell me you still believe in Santa Claus. Well, yeah, we just saw him. I don't believe this. You're a bigger weenie than Donnie is. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thomas, there is no such thing as Santa Claus. But my dad said that... Parents just pretend to believe in him. It's a little game they like to play. Hi, lads. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just leaving a little snack for Santa. Right, Mr. Charming. He's good. <laughs> Come on, Donnie. We better go clean up our room so Santa will know we've been good little boys. But the maid came today. <laughs> Maybe Santa will bring you a brain. <laughs> Fine lads, those two. They just told me there was no Santa Claus. The scoundrels! <laughs> well, what do they know? They're only 11 years old. Well, they lived in this century 11 years longer than we have. Thomas, I assure you, there is a Santa Claus. Why, without him, there wouldn't be a Christmas. That's what I'm afraid of. Now that Thomas doesn't believe, it's just a matter of time before the rest of them fall. No Santa Claus, no presents, no Christmas. Well, I'm still hanging up my stocking. <laughs> Isn't that awfully big? Well, I've been awfully good. <laughs> the stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Check. <laughs> the children were nestled all snug in their beds. Check. <laughs> While visions of sugar plums danced through their heads. tell you this, but I don't think there is a Santa Claus. Yes, there is. Daddy said so. Are you boys still up? Thomas, there's no Santa Claus. Is that true? Come and sit on my lap. Sometimes the truth is hard to take. Oh. I'm sorry to be the one to have to tell you this. But you're a big boy now, and it's time you knew the truth. There is no Santa Claus. Told you. You okay? I think so. You sure? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. Because there's no Easter Bunny either. <laughs> and the Tooth Fairy... <laughs> well, good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> there are bed bugs. <laughs> Boo! Yes! Oh, boo! Hold your applause. Two down, two to go. A witch's work is never done. <laughs> Who threw that? <laughs> Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap. <laughs> Snow, where's your kerchief? Oh, do I have to wear it? If you want Santa to be good to you. Eric, do you really think Santa's gonna come? Well, of course he is. Come on, Snow, you saw him at the mall. Well, yeah, but I... But what? I didn't want to say anything, but I wasn't too impressed. He had a phony beard, his breath smelled of alcohol, and he was groping one of his helpers. What is wrong with everyone around here? First Lillian doesn't believe, and then Thomas, and now my own wife. Oh, don't forget Corey. Corey doesn't believe either? I don't know how he found out. <laughs> you told my baby there's no Santa Claus. That might have been it. You witch. Well, you'll see. You'll all see. Hey, Charles. Cute outfit. Thank you. Well, at least here's one guy who still believes in Santa. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if there really were a Santa Claus? Then he could put together Donnie's stupid He-Man village. You mean there's really no Santa? <laughs> you never quit, do you? This is terrible. Yeah, tell me about it. I got 400 parts scattered on the living room floor. They're all marked B. <laughs> Say, uh, do you have a needle nose pliers? No. I don't have anything. Yeah, forget it. The box says an eight-year-old can put it together. Then let him. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was so sure. Eric, if you feel foolish, it's because you are. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Listen, it's him! It's him! I knew he would come! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Get ready to eat crow, Lillian. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, it's not so bad. I got the money for my ski trip and some pretty funky slippers. <laughs> I just can't believe there's no Santa. I feel so bad for the boys. All month long, I've been sounding off. Santa's coming to town. Santa's coming to town. And now he's not. The boys are going to think I've been lying. Oh, honey, no, they won't. They'll just think you don't know what you're talking about. It's not fair. They've been kind, courteous, and honest all year long. And what's their reward? Shattered dreams and an empty stocking. No new bike, no new toys, no new Black & Decker power cordless drill. Oh, Eric, get a hold of yourself. We may not have a Santa, but, but we have a witch. Oh, forget it. You really think your mother's going to help us? Oh, she's probably upstairs dancing a jig. This is not as easy as it looks. Oh, shut up and blow. Aren't you going to help them at all? No, but I'd be happy to watch Snow beg. 
She's much too proud to beg. <sighs> Mother, open up. I'm begging you. <laughs> I'm on a roll. <laughs> Mother, I have a favor to ask of you. Well, it is Christmas. Could you zap up some presents for the boys? Being a witch as talented as myself, it would be a snap to do. Really, Mother? And if I zapped up gifts for your family, they think they came from Santa. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so you'll do it. No. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you're a cold, heartless woman? Yes. But I never tire of hearing it. <laughs> Why do I come here? Oh, I'm going to sleep well tonight. <sighs> Lillian. <laughs> Lillian, this is a ghost of Christmas past. Do you mind? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> This never happened to Mr. Magoo. <laughs> must find a better way to do this. <laughs> Fruitcake? Yuck! <laughs> oh, you'd better watch out. You better not spit. No, that's... I'm sure that's wrong. Uh, oh, are you? Ah! I'm Santa Claus. Have you got any pastrami? <laughs> Claus, you can't be. You're not real. Yes, I am. <laughs> Here, touch me. <laughs> oh, it's like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> Who asked you? <laughs> but you're supposed to have a beard, a, a red woolly suit and a, a, a big black patent leather belt. Big sail on at the gap. <laughs> you're really Santa Claus. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> You didn't... didn't exist. Yeah, well, it's a common misconception. I, I only go where people really believe. Oh, well, no one believes in you here. You... Corey Charming. His name's on the list. Uh, yeah. Well, it was on the list. I checked it twice. <laughs> Someone must have told that poor little boy that there's no Santa Claus. No. <laughs> When I get my hands on that guy, he'll pay for it. Uh, how much would something like that cost? <laughs> Lillian, is there something you want to tell Santa? Well, I only did it for their own good. I didn't think there was a Santa, and I thought they should know the truth. <laughs> you never cared about the truth. All you ever care about is ruining Christmas for others. Well, what have you and Christmas ever done for me? Every year, I'd wait full of hope and anticipation, and I never got what I wanted. Oh, I see. That's what all this is about. Oh, Lillian. What exactly do you want for Christmas? I want my castle back, my glorious tower, my moat filled with alligators. <laughs> Can you give me that, Santa? Would you settle for a Barbie dream house? Just what I thought. You can't give me anything. You know, you're going about this all wrong. The real joy of Christmas doesn't come from getting presents. It comes from giving them. <sighs> Wait a minute. What? Aren't you going to leave any presents? No, I can't. No, it's against the law. It's in the book. Yes, the Santa Claus handbook. Uh, here we are. Clause 400. No shirts, no shoes, no service. 
Well, that's not right. Oh, here it is. Yes. Uh, Christmas gifts shall be distributed only to true believers. Oh, I'm late for Ronnie and Nancy's. <laughs> He's still wishing for Robert Bork. <laughs> but what's Christmas morning going to be like? Well, pretty much the same as this. You see, barren tree, no stockings, no presents. You add to that the sound of crying children. I get the picture. Yeah. Well, cheerio. Yeah. Oh, by the way, the Easter bunny and the tooth fairy are really ticked off at you. <laughs> No. Forget it. Huh? Oh, Santa! 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 Lillian, wake up! What? You must have been dreaming. No. I swear he was here. I talked to him. Who? Santa Claus. I he was wearing a, a, a red leather jacket and Levi's. What, no Reeboks? <laughs> Maybe it was a dream. Well, if he was here, he certainly didn't leave any presents. None? Zero, zilch, bupkis. <laughs> oh, but the children will be down any moment. I have to give them Christmas morning. Give? Who are you? <laughs> and what have you done with Lillian? Just help me remember what everybody wants. OK, OK. A bicycle for Corey, a He-Man village for Thomas, customized skis for Luther, a VCR. What? A VCR. Who's that for? Well, I thought since you're in the giving mood, you know. Oh, all right, all right. Wireless remote? <sighs> Don't push it. Now, step aside so I can see what I'm doing. With pleasure. Well, look at this stuff. I got my new bike. What a spread. I got my skis. Oh, sweetheart, look. No, this is wonderful. <gasps> I got my power drill! <laughs> and it's cordless. <laughs> you see, Lillian? There really is a Santa Claus. So it appears. Oh, Mother, this is the best present you could have ever given me. What? You think this had something to do with me? Oh, please, it's not my style. <laughs> Lillian. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, I could just shatter. <laughs> Ow! Here, Lillian. This one has your name on it. What? Oh, but that's impossible. I didn't... Oh, it's my castle. Who was this from? It's from Santa Claus. <sighs> yes. I think it is. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking Seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying Five onion rings <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lillian, I love my VCR. <laughs> but seeing you filled with the Christmas spirit is the best present of all. Then give me back the VCR. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh-uh, it's mine. Push play. OK. And the partridge in a bear tree. Have a charming Christmas. <laughs>